What is up, first fans? Welcome to another edition. Today we've got... What do we got, Devin? We got running back sleepers. Running back sleepers for you people. I know everybody's favorite is the running back. Yep, yep. Well, at least that's what everybody supposedly needs to win. So we've got four <laughs> sleepers. We each picked out a couple. Mm -hmm. And before we get into it, though, we want to let you guys know about a special giveaway we got going on. And here's how. Hey, first fans. Thanks so much for... Uh, Tuning in, we wanted to let you guys know about our Travis Kelsey portrait print. It's a part of a collector series that we had hand painted. We've got these five here. Uh, Travis Kelsey is the first one we're putting out. Russell Wilson, George Kittle, Patrick Mahomes, and Evan's favorite, DeAndre Hopkins. Mm -hmm. Those will all be made into these uh, portrait print uh, collector cards that will be given out to everybody. But the first one is Travis Kelsey. Uh, in order to get this, all you have to do is real simple, just like twice, like two com videos, comment twice, comment two videos, and make sure you subscribe. And subscribe, pretty easy, right? So mm -hmm. like two videos, comment on two videos, and subscribe. Subscribe. So once you've done that, uh, just go to the description down below and you'll see what you need to do. It's real simple. You just have to email us basically your mailing address so we can get this shipped out to you free of charge. It's on us. So no cost to you, and we're gonna give away up to a thousand of these. So if we get five uh, new subscribers that do this, we'll give away five, and if we get up to a thousand, we'll give away all thousand at our cost. So mm -hmm. thanks so much for uh, supporting us, and if you have any questions, let us know. But today, get your Travis Kelsey collector card. Yep. And back to the show. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you like that Travis Kelsey collector card info. But we're going to get back to our running back sleepers. Mm -hmm. And Devin, why don't you start us off with your first sleeper? First sleeper is going to be Melvin Gordon. Ah, Denver yeah. Bronco. Melvin Ooh. Gordon. Yeah, I know nice. you love it. Yeah, yeah, you know, Broncos fan right here, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, Melvin Gordon last year splitting with Philip Lindsay mm -hmm. and also dealing with injury here and there. Uh, he finished ninth yeah. in rushing yards. Yeah, he did very very well he had last a pretty year. Pretty solid season. I mean, nothing yeah. spectacular, but yeah, pretty solid. And uh, I mean, I know a lot of people were very high on Javante Williams, hmm. but last year the Denver Broncos were very high on Philip Lindsay just as much as Melvin Gordon. Yeah. So I don't think this is going to be that much of a split. Um, I honestly coming in the draft, I wasn't high on Williams. During the off season, I wasn't high on Williams. Right now, I'm still not very high on Williams. We've got totally different opinions, but that's okay. <laughs> that's what makes us unique, right? <laughs> I don't. I, I just don't see him as a franchise running back. I see him more as a slight upgrade from Philip Lindsay. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna have. To, don't worry, guys. I'll take him after this show, and we'll go watch some <laughs> film, and I'll I'll show him what's so special. But back to our sleeper, though, the important okay. part, because people All are gonna right. be drafting Williams early on. But Melvin Gordon isn't he's going until going, way later. Yeah, he's going after Williams. And think, actually, I would I take Gordon the, before Williams. I think the 10th or 11th round? No, not that late. Um, it's around like the 8th or 9th. Okay, 8th or 9th. Yeah, it's only like 5 to 10 running backs after Williams is going. But Williams is still going before Gordon in almost yeah. every draft. Well, I think Gordon is going to get the majority of the attention even with Williams there. Okay. So I, I would rather have Gordon. Well, at the price, that's the thing we're talking about. When you, mm -hmm. If you need an extra running back for your second running back, mm -hmm. you can snag Gordon because he's going to be playing a lot early on. Mm -hmm. And maybe for the whole season, we don't know. But early on, he's going to be playing. So if you draft someone like him and then another guy later on that maybe has some upside, which is another guy we're going to talk about later on, then you know, you'll know you have a couple of players to work with. And mm -hmm. you've got a stud beginning of your draft with a second back that – Finished ninth last year. Yeah. I mean, that could work out real good for you guys. I like it. Yes. All right. All right. On to uh, yours, right? Okay. Yep. Your uh, first my first guy, well, I'm going to touch on this one right now then too, is going to be Trey Sermon. And Trey I think Sermon. he would be a nice pair with the running back we just talked about. Melvin Gordon. Because he's probably not going to be playing right away. Right, right. We don't know, but likely Raheem Mostert. Yes. Raheem Mostert. When healthy, <laughs> man, I mean, this is the dream fit for Shanahan. He yeah. knows the system and runs the system perfect. He just, he puts up yards after yards after yards, but mm -hmm. then he gets injured. And so that's where uh, Trey Sermon's going to fit in. Mm -hmm. As soon as that injury pops up, 
It's Trey Sermon time. I know. And I... he might not give it back. So I, he'll just run with it. Pun intended. <laughs> I'm an OU fan, oh, yeah. um, so Trey Sermon leaving OU kind of leaves a bit of a sour taste. Yeah. But, I mean, even when he was there, I didn't really see a whole lot of talent. I've never really been a big Trey Sermon fan as far as talent, but Kyle Shanahan can make any running back look great. Yeah, I, I was a little bit surprised with that, too, because he does have really nice size and he does have nice burst, which mm-hmm. is good. But his speed is lacking. I mean, he's not a very fast runner. He has great vision. Great vision. So I'm interested yeah. to see how this is going to work out because Mostert, holy crap, he has speed. He might be mm-hmm. the fastest running back in the NFL. Yeah, maybe. So when uh, Sermon goes in, it'll be interesting to see. But he's not going until about the seventh round, pick number 79 overall. Mm-hmm. It's it's a good pickup. Yeah. If, if you're later on and you, know, you go top heavy with your wide receivers and a tight end or a quarterback... Definitely could be a, a very good uh, number two, number three, once he's in there. And he has a, a number one upside. Yeah. So, very good. Yeah, I definitely like him. Okay, who you got for your second running back? My second running back is Ramondre Stevenson. Oh, he's had a nice preseason. Yeah, though. he has had an amazing preseason. Five touchdowns. Yeah, and they traded away Sony Michelle, so that just Ooh. solidifies that they're pretty happy with him. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. And, I mean, if you actually watch these touchdowns, they're not just lucky touchdowns. He actually looked like he kind of worked for it. Yeah. Understanding it's just preseason games. Uh, so you got like the backup defense. So against real defenses, would they have happened? Maybe not. Uh, so you definitely have to put that into consideration. But you have to play against the talent you put up against. At least he's really showing it now, right? Right, right. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I mean, me being an OU fan, you obviously know I love the guy. <laughs> so I would like an unbiased opinion. Yeah. No, I, th- I think he definitely has the opportunity. Trading away Sony Michelle just means that they want to use him more. Mm. I-, I don't really fully trust these running backs altogether because Bill Belichick. But when they do get one they like, they have used him in the past. Mm-hmm. So it's it's possible. And he's going way, way, way late. Oh, I mean, yeah, you can way pick late. him up almost... You know, he's moved up the board a little bit now, but you could pick him up in the 14th, 15th, 16th round of your draft. He is right now the 63rd running back off the board. Yeah, so, I mean, you pick up him, and if things do happen and mm-hmm. he falls into place, uh, Damien Harris decides he's not good enough, <laughs> gets injured, whatever. You pop in Reminder Stevenson, and now you might have a bell cow running back because he's got the size for it. Oh, yeah. So He's yeah, a big power back. I do like it. And we did a video on this in the past. In fact, if you want to look at that video, you can. In addition to liking and commenting on two videos, that can be a second video. Do this one and that one and get your Travis Kelsey collector card. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, My second running back. Your second running back? A.J. Dillon. Another power running back. Another big, fast power running back. He didn't play a ton last year, but when he got his opportunity, he did well. He mm-hmm. averaged uh, 5.3 yards per carry, uh, including one game against Tennessee in Week 16 where he had 124 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, he was a beast in that game. He reminds me of a slightly less tall Derrick Henry. Mm. And you know what Derrick Henry can do. Yeah. I mean, this dude is powerful. So I'm very excited about that. Obviously, Aaron Jones is the number one. Mm-hmm. But they don't like to give him a ton of usage. And Jamal Williams had... A decent amount of work last year. And if A.J. Dillon gets that, you at least have some flex play. And then if Aaron Jones gets hurt, now you've got yourself... Golden. Golden. golden, An RB1. Because he's proven that he can can do it if he gets the load. So I like it as a late... You know, I think he's going around the ninth or 10th round right now. Mm -hmm. And you pick him up, stash him, or even play him as a flex play or a bye week fill-in if if that's all he is currently. Mm -hmm. You know, you at least have that with the ability to uh, have that RB1 if an injury happens. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Well, what do you guys think? Do you like any of these guys? Do you think, uh, you know, are any of them just not really your cup of tea? Let us know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Get your Travis Kelsey collector card. Um, We're doing a few of these series. If you didn't get to watch the quarterbacks, we've already done that. Go and look that up. We'll be putting out wide receiver and tight end on this Mm -hmm. series. And those will be coming out in the next day or two. So look for those. Okay. All right. And good luck on your draft if it's coming up soon. Yep, yep. With all that being said, always remember to finish first.
Thank you for listening to the FantasyFootballFirst.com podcast. Jackson throws to Cleet Crabtree, has it for a touchdown. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Get more fantasy info and check us out at FantasyFootballFirst.com.